right, so spark plugs on a 3.5 liter are fairly simple. Um, the rear bank, you need to pull the upper intake because that covers them right here. And um, I got another video on that. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can reference that. And we can get to this rear bank. Um, it's very simple. A few quick tips. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. This little red clip, push it down, and then you can push in on the connector towards the coil, push down the little black tab, and then you'll be able to release it and get it out of the way. Pull this 8 millimeter bolt. That bolt off to the side so we don't lose it down in here. And then use a cat claw or something like this to um, get in these ribs right here, you can probably see them, you get in this bottom one and then you can pry up on it like this and that'll break its seal because these do stick in the head pretty good um, and then I'll let you pull it out then. After that air if you got it, blow out this area and then down to the well and we can uh, make sure there's nothing in there that we can't see um, that might fall in the, the um, cylinder when we pull that plug out. After that, it's a regular old um, 5 8 spark plug socket. Nothing fancy. Down in there, seems like 6 inch extension. Works just fine. 3 8 drive. You're going to want to do this on a cool engine. We had no chance of stripping those uh, spark plug threads out. These, the threads are very deep and it'd be hard to strip them out. But once you start stripping them out, you can ruin the other ones the same way um, as you're feeding the plug in or out. So, might as well avoid it all together, right? As you can see, these are very long winded. Going to turbo mode here. Okay, there we go. Now, now these have uh, 95,000 on them. According to the maintenance schedule, they're due at 90. So we're right there. We're doing them uh, before they go on a trip. And these ones, the way they look, got that light brown on them like that. These are perfect. The new plugs, we can gap them at, um, it's like 51 to 57 thousandths. It's actually a wide range uh, for the spec for the gap. I put them at 54 thousandths like the older engines. It's right in the middle, and that way it can uh, go from there. Uh, I do put, um, I do put anti-seize on the threads, no matter what the coating of the shell of the plug is. You never know if Ford's going to change it or whatever and then we have uh, seizing issues. So you might as well just put a little dab on there and put it back in there. Thread it in by hand and you'll feel it going in, you'll feel it starting to have resistance, you know it's actually threading. Then once you feel that, you can use your 3 8 ratchet to tighten it again back down in there. Now the spec for these is 133 inch pounds. I just snug it up until it stops and then a little bit more and uh, never had an issue. Don't necessarily need a torque wrench for it. It's a good idea but it's not totally necessary. Um, the threads are so long and strong on the cylinder heads they're uh, very forgiving as long as you thread that plug in right the first time. Take your coil and put a little dielectric grease on it. We use the Ford stuff, obviously. Something like that, just a little bit on there. And we can put this back down in here. Put our bolt in. We can tighten that all down. Snug it down, 
these ones. Make sure you hear their click like that. I'll stop talking. Make sure you hear that click, and then you can push in this red tab on here, a locking tab, and then you know it's secure. You move on to the next one, and next one, and next one. Uh, so you have no, no issues back here, because it's a little hard to get back here when uh, the intake's back on. So repeat that for the other five, and then be able to put this upper intake back on, and go test drive it.